Hey, hey YouTube, hey y'all, hey everybody, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, hey, I'm here, we finna go to Sunday school, we about to go to Sunday school, because um, we have had, um, this has been coming up a lot, this has been coming up a lot. So, um, y'all see the topic, so y'all understand what we're about to talk about. So, um, let's get into it. Hey, boo! Hey! Hey, let's go to brunch instead. Okay, we'll do brunch then. We'll do brunch. Um, and for some reason, YouTube is not letting me sign on. So, I probably can't get your comments or questions or whatever, but, you know, hey. So, let's... Uh, get to it so y'all remember um remember that song by uh erica badu everybody remembers this song um i think you need to call tyrone remember that song call him. you know and so it starts out when she said i'm getting tired of your ish right and you don't never buy me nothing Every time we go somewhere, I got to reach down in my purse to pay your way and your homeboy's way and sometimes your cousin's way. Y'all remember? Y'all remember the song? Y'all remember? So, I feel like there are a lot of women who <laughs> are in this boat, who are in this boat. And I say that because... A lot of women want to treat, they want, they say they want a man. Um, my teeth are minty. Yes, always minty fresh. I brush my teeth like two or three times a day. So, but a lot of, um, a lot of women treat their men like boys. They treat their men like their children. Okay. Um, and if somebody, you guys from the group, if y'all will put in the group that I'm live or whatever, please for me, because I forgot to do that and my computer is tripping. So whatever. But um, a lot of women treat these men like their mothers. You know, you want to um, reach in your purse when when uh, it's time to pay for something. Oh, he don't have the money. You got $20 you can loan me. You're giving him money. You're fixing his plate. You're finding his clothes for him. You are, um, you know, catering to his every whim and, and wish as if he was your toddler. If this man is supposed to be your man, then you need to treat him like he's your man. You need to send him off to work. You need to let him know, hey, um, you know, this is my role in the relationship and this is your role in the relationship. Yes, acrimony was a mess. Acrimony was a mess. We'll get back to that though. Somebody remind me to talk about acrimony before I get off this video. But, um, sorry y'all, baby Fox is getting his clothes on. So, um, he's, he's a little upset right now. He wants mommy. But anyway, so, um, you guys are, uh, you know, just, just catering to their, oh, thank you. Thank you guys for sharing it. Thank you. Um, catering to his every woman wish as if he's your toddler. And that's not the thing to do. When you have a man and you say you want a man, you have to treat him like that. You have to treat him like that. You have to have an expectation that, okay, I'm the woman and you're the man. There's certain stuff that I'm not going to do, and there's certain stuff that you will do if you're going to be in this relationship with me. I'm not gonna go to work the night shift while you sit at home. Hello? I don't even care. I don't care if he is the babysitter. I don't care if he's keeping the kids while you're working the night shift. The fact that you have a man that you are living with, a man that you are claiming, a man that is in the same bed with you, and you are the one leaving the house at night, going to uh, work, that, that's not, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Erica said you should, you need to call Tyrone, but y'all should have been calling Tyrone's daddy and his grandpa to see what he talking about. Cause Tyrone and all his friends don't have no money. Don't none of them have no money. So y'all need to figure out 
do you want to be his, um, right, might as well breastfeed him too, right. Do you want to be his lover or do you want to be his mother? Now, um, when I say lover, I'm saying, do you want to be his woman? Of course, I'm not talking about, you know, playing trampoline and getting on a pee pee and all that. So please, please, people that watch this today and even after the fact, don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you should try to be, you know, his, you know, uh, little trampoline buddy or whatever. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, do you want to be his woman? Do you want him to cater to you? Or do you want him to, um, do you want him to feel like you're his mother? When you do that to a man, even though he will like it, the fact that, oh, I don't have to go to work and she's giving me her money. I don't have to fix my plate. She's fixing my plate. Even though he will like these sorts of things. And I don't say, I'm not saying there's something wrong with fixing a plate. I'm using that as an example. Even though he won't find issue with that, there will be a time when he's going to grow tired of it. He's going to grow weary of it because you are emasculating him. You are emasculating him. You are trying to... You are basically stripping him of his manhood. Women are supposed to be catered to. Women are supposed to be, you know, helped and given a leg up. And, you know, you're helping me with the whatever. Because we're the, we are the weaker in terms of body structure, in terms of biology. We are the weaker sex. So with that being said, we are the ones that need the help. We are the ones who who need to, you know, who need the help, not a man. That's the first thing. Another way, um, I don't think men can emasculate themselves, Miss Siobhan. I mean, they can, but you're emasculating him by allowing it. You're emasculating him. Let me, let me talk about some things that are emasculating to a man. Let's go there. Um, and you're treating him like you're his mother. Let me get my little Sunday, uh, my little Sunday outfit going. Um, if you have ever stalked a man, if you have ever stalked a man, then you are emasculating him and you're treating him like a mother. If you've ever went out looking for your man when he didn't come home, you're treating him like you're his mother. If you've ever um, told your man what he should be doing and what he shouldn't be doing as far as how to treat you, you're treating him like he's his mother, like you're his mother, I'm sorry. If you've ever said to a man, um, you know, uh, you don't treat me right. You don't, um, if you've ever pointed out his flaws as far as things that he's doing in the relationship, y'all, excuse me, I'm trying to, um, I'm gonna, I'm trying to restart my computer so I can hear your, uh, or read your comments, I'm sorry. Yes, if you've ever told a man what to wear, if you've ever put an outfit together for a man, raise your hand if you didn't do that. I, I used to do that all the time in the beginning of my, of my marriage because my husband can't dress. He wanna wear, you know, them little swishy pants and t-shirts everywhere we go. And I'm like, you, you're, you're not going nowhere with me looking like that, you know? So I felt like, well, I need to uh, get him dressed. I need to put his clothes on for him. Um, those are things that are emasculating. If you've ever filled out a job application for your man, if you've ever made a resume for a man, if you've ever called the doctor for your man, if you've ever called your man's mother on him, assuming that she would take your side. First of all, you dumb as hell for even doing that. Secondly, uh, that that's that's too much. Yeah, if you wake him up for work, if you get ready before him and go make his breakfast and do all that, that's too much. If you've ever required your man to give you his passwords from his phone, you're emasculating him. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to emasculate a man. My whole point is... Um, Y'all need to stop that. You need to figure out what role you want to play in his life. Do you want him to take care of you or do you want to take care of him? Um, everybody has one set of parents. You get one mom and one dad. 
He doesn't need to be raised again. There's nothing you need to do to help him through whatever he's going through. There's nothing you need to do to, uh, to, to assist him in any sort of way. A man is a man, and that's what he needs to be. A man. There is never a reason. If, if all of those things are, are things that you are doing right now or things that you feel are necessary in your relationship, you need to get out of that relationship because you are with the wrong one. Who cares if you can't trust him? Let's talk about the stalker. You mad because he, you know, you can't find him. You don't know where he's at. You know how to fix that? Uh, he want to stay out all night and, you know, not come home or not be available or whatever. You be gone. <laughs> Easy fix. When he get to the house and he turn that key, all you need to do is make sure you are not there when he's there. That's an easy way to fix all that, baby. Easy. You ain't got to stalk him. You don't have to call his friends trying to find him. You don't have to be mad that he um, is not answering the phone when you call. You don't have to uh, call him 100,000 times. Be gone when he get there. Be gone when he get there. That's the best way to fix that. I bet you next time he's going to be uh, looking for you uh, instead of the other way around. Hey, I'm on here, but hey, I can see y'all now. Okay, so anyway, so, oh, look at this. Y'all like my little, uh, what's the name? Yes, Pick Me, Bob the Builders. Yes, they're classic for doing this. Um, and I'm telling you all these things because I didn't did them. I have done every single thing. I'm telling y'all, all of it. And now, today, I don't do any of that. Nothing, and I won't. Um... Okay, so th those are some of the things that can be, uh, so how do you make him feel really masculine? Good question, Miss Ashley. You allow him to do things for you. You pretend like you can't open the peanut butter when it's time to open the peanut butter. You act like, uh, 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 uh. you reach really tall, you know, oh, I can't reach that, can you get it for me? You um, make him cut the grass, make him take the trash out. Um, you know, not make him, but allow him to do uh, things around the house that are considered masculine. You, uh, you know, sit up one day, all day in the bed and just say, oh, I have cramps. I, I just, oh, my stomach hurts. I just don't think I can do it. That's how you allow him to be a man. Let him drive. Let him drive when it's time to go somewhere. Stop jumping in the, in the seat like, come on, we finna go. I mean, you might as well strap him in and put the car seat on too if you're going to do that. You know, um, allow him to do things. L allow him to open your doors. Yes, hold the door for you. Allow him to open the car door. Sit there one day. Y'all going somewhere? Just sit there. Don't even get out the car. He's going to be like, come on, what you doing? Just be like, well, I felt like being a lady today. So I want you to open my door. You know, switch it up. Switch it up. You know, um, but stop all this, uh, well, I had to help him. You know, my man is such a dusty, I had to do bloop, the bloop, bloop, bloop. No, you didn't. You took that up on yourself. You gave yourself that role. And here's the segue to acrimony. Good alley-oop for whoever uh, mentioned that. In that movie, Taraji did not, she wasn't thinking. She didn't have a brain. I don't know what was going on with Taraji. But she did not. Some, someone clicking for her. This man came to her with his problems and she immediately interjected, well, I'll help you. Well, how much is it? Even if she was mad about doing it, even if she was upset, she knew it was stupid. She kept giving this man more money and more money and more money and more money. Ladies, we can learn, uh, who said the ghetto? Oh, um, we can learn um, from that movie. Instead of being Taraji, we can be the man in that situation because he was totally taking the feminine role through the whole movie. Then he left her and upgraded for another woman. But then she want to be all crazy and snap on the man and kill him and all this. For what? For what? She should have killed herself for being so stupid. She should have killed herself for being so stupid, you know? So... We have to stop that, ladies. If you are doing that, scale it all the way back. Scale it all the way back, for real. Scale it back. You need to, uh, you might not be able to totally quit all of that, but, but don't do that. 
And then here's another thing. The women that talk baby talk to men. Now, I've never done this, but the women who talk baby talk to men. What is that? What What is that about? You know, oh, come here, stink, come here. Now, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I'm all about the baby voice. Y'all know. I, I tell you, and I harp on this on this channel all the time. But when you're using the baby voice to coddle him and to make him feel like, oh, I love you so much and you're my baby type of thing, no, ma'am, that's not cute. You know, y'all have a movie night and he laying on you and you playing in his hair. What, what, what is that? What, what, what is that? What is that? He needs to be doing that to you. You need to lay your head on his shoulders. Hello? He's not your baby. He's not your baby. You are supposed to be his baby. You know how men say, hey, what's up, baby? They say that for a reason. Because you're the baby. You are the one that should be taken care of, you know? Stop calling men baby, you know? You ain't got to call him daddy, but call him something more masculine, like my big, strong horse or <laughs> I don't know, something. But you should, you can call him something other than baby because come on, that, that's just a little, a little much. Now, let's talk about um, the way we dress. Let's talk about the way we dress. Um, y'all laughing. Horse, lion, you know, some ferocious. Let him be a, a, a zebra or a, you know, a tiger, my big old tiger, you know, but don't, don't say baby, you know, switch the nickname up. Call him bear. Instead of baby, call him bear. I mean, something, just don't do that. You know, don't do that. So, um, let's talk about the way we dress. Um, Letitia and I were on the phone yesterday and we, you know, between the two of our channels and uh, we talk about the consultations that we do and, you know, the issues that are coming up and things like that. Okay, y'all going too far with the nicknames. Pay attention. Y'all supposed to be taking notes. Anyway, so um, we, we go over what the, uh, what's going on, on the consultations or whatever. Of course, no names are shared, whatever, but we're just going over, okay, this is what I'm finding. The way a lot of you ladies dress is never going to get you a man. Ever. Ever going to get you a man the way some of y'all dress. Um, for real. Let's just, let's just be honest. We have a lot of new ladies in the group and we have a lot of older ladies in the group. I'm going to tell y'all. Let me tell y'all the telltale signs of old ho. Uh, and I'm, when I say a oh ho, I'm talking about a girl, a woman, a lady that used to be uh, wild, free sexually, used to sleep with uh, Kevin, Keith, Ray, and uh, Johnny. And now she can't figure out how she got uh, four kids by four different men. So now she's arrived at the point in her life where she no longer wants to do these things and um, she wants a man of means. She wants a man of means now. Those ladies are the ones that, who come in the group with all these dang on church dresses, all these flowers. You got turtlenecks buttoned up to here, pearls around your neck. You got big old chunky jewelry. You, you, you know, hmm. <sighs> These are the old hoes. Let me tell you how I know. Let me tell you how everybody else knows. Because um, if, if you weren't so far on this side of the spectrum, then you would be okay with showing a little skin, wearing some shorts, exactly the turquoise jewelry and stuff. You would be okay. Yeah, exactly. They didn't found God. They didn't found the uh they found the they've arrived at their gold digger inner beauty and now they want to be so pure and holy you know oh i can't i can never wear shorts 
Oh, I could never. Oh my goodness. Are you showing all that leg? Oh, no, no. I want him to respect me. I want him to, um, to, to understand where I'm coming from and to know I want to be a wife. I want to be married. I will never, you know, girl, look, let me tell you something, baby. Let me tell you something. If you go out exactly pantyhose and slips, if you still wearing pantyhose and slips in 2018, you need to click off this video, start from the beginning and, and just keep my videos rolling, baby, because uh, no ma'am, that's ridiculous, ridiculous. Yes, we have people talking about slips, we did, in, in, the, in the new group. So anyway, so, um, <sighs> that really grinds my gore because you make it like, oh, like nobody else wants to be married. Just because this is something, you know, that, that you, somebody told you, you have to look a certain way to get a husband. That's not always true. They also told you, you know, oh, you can't, um, they also told you, what's another lie that women are told? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, we were all told lies growing up as women. You know, we were all taught to be wives and to cater, play with baby dolls. And you have to be this and you have to be that. You know, it, it's just, you need to rethink some stuff. Okay? Rethink some stuff. Um, exactly. It, it's called miseducation. You are wanting, if you, if you want to be married, that means you need to be attractive. That means you need to be attractive. And there was a comment um, in the group of a lady who, she put this very beautiful, regal, gorgeous dress. And I know she probably don't think I'm picking on her, but I'm really not. I'm just using this as an example because it kind of tied into what we're doing now. Beautiful, elegant dress with nice neck piece and all that, but it was way too much. What What is going on? Leisha, Leisha, I'm going to need you to be quiet. Some of these people is going to school. Anyway, Sunday school. We in Sunday school. Shh. Anyway, um, yeah, you will get arthritis if you show your legs in the winter. Exactly. People want to keep you basic. People want to keep you on a certain level so that you can't you know, so that, so that you can't get they man pretty much. Okay. So yeah, no lipstick, no makeup. A man likes natural beauty. A man wants you, you know, he don't want all that makeup on his chest and all that other stuff. You know, that, those are the lies we are told. Exactly. So the, um, I forgot what I was saying, but the thing, the thing about the way you dress, the, the, oh, the girl, the dress, it was so beautiful. And I said, no, I think that's too much for a first date because it was way, way overdressed. You know, you don't want to try too hard on the first date, but you also don't want to try hard enough, right? So I, I put a few things, you know, in there that, and I showed her examples of things that I thought were nice things for a first date. Now she made the comment, what about a uh, boho chic? Now, I guess I'm assuming this is her personal style. This is what she likes. And boho chic is something that's like bohemian with all them colors and patterns and just so busy. You know, you look like somebody's auntie at the at the church, uh, <clears throat> the church bazaar. Look like you selling plates from the back of the church when you wear stuff like that. Bumming. Exactly. You look like a hippie. You just look like a hippie. It looks so boring and it's it's too you know it covers everything up and then you got all these busy patterns and stuff no if that's your personal style do it if you want to look like the auntie uh, at the baseball game go ahead you know I personally don't want to look like that like today um yes Letitia does have a boho style but it's still motherly again Letitia is all uh, her bag is already secured so she can wear whatever she want to wear. I'm talking to the ladies who are in attraction mode. This definitely does not apply to women who are married and who are satisfied with where they are. People who are uh, ladies who have already arrived to that don't even need this advice, pretty much. So I'm talking about the ladies who are in attraction mode. If you, the video is paused, right? Uh-oh, guys. Well. If you're in attraction mode, then you need to know that um, 
Uh oh, the video is paused. Okay, we're not talking about Letitia. Okay, let's get off of that. Cause we're not okay. Yeah, somebody made anyway. Um, I know I'm frozen. I can't believe. Do I need to start over, y'all? Uh oh. So you can hear me, but you can't see me. Oh my goodness. We're still frozen. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I know you can still hear me, but this is like a super bootleg movie at this point. So I'm going to end this. Um, can, oh, hey. Y'all see me? Ew. Ew. Okay. So anyway, so yes. So that, that style of dress is, um, is not conducive to being attractive. You want him to come to you. You don't want... To make him feel like he's dating his mom or his aunt or his grandmother or something like that. If you're wearing something when you're freestyling that your mother would approve of, it's probably the wrong outfit. If you are wearing something that women are going to look at you like, who she thinks she is? I can't even believe she wore that. That's the right outfit. Hello? That's the right outfit. That's definitely the right outfit. If you are wearing, um, should you have your booty out? No, come on now, stop being funny. No, of course you shouldn't have your butt out. Clearly, you don't wanna be, you know, there's a middle, there's a middle. I'm way in the middle with the way I dress. Um, the way I dress is totally in the middle of that. I don't look like something my mama would wear. I don't look like something anybody's mama would wear. I don't look like an auntie either, you know. I look like, you can wear something that's form-fitting. I do every day. Every single day I wear something that's form-fitting. Of course, that's what is considered attractive. But when you wear stuff, you know, you got big boobs and you got something way up here to your neck. That's not attractive. If you have larger breasts, you want to wear the scoop neck. You know, I can't wear a scoop neck uh, thing because it looks crazy. I don't have all that going on. But if you have larger breasts, you wanna wear a V-neck or scoop neck. Let them girls out. You got them for a reason. That's what you can use to be attractive. I got big hips and a big butt. So guess what? I'ma wear skirts. I'm gonna wear little uh, shorts and stuff like that. Come on now and think about it. Just because you're a big girl doesn't mean you can't be attractive. Just because you have big legs doesn't mean you can't be attractive. I don't know who told y'all that, but um, I've always had big legs and I've always been attractive, period. You know, so um, you, you ladies need to recognize that there is a way to be sexy without being whorish. There is a way to be um, sexy without being and there's also a way to be chased without being, you know, too boring. If you can wear your dress to church, don't wear it freestyling. I'm, I'm going to be quiet till y'all get that. If you can wear your dress to um, church, you can't wear it freestyling. Period. Uh, what about the bony girls? I mean, y'all have that. If you're real bony, you don't have no chest or nothing. You can show your little chest meat or that chest plate right there. That's sexy when they have the stuff all the way down because it's not really considered, ugh, if you don't have big boobs, you know. But if you don't have a figure, you better learn how to smile. <clears throat> Wear a romper, you know. Maybe your smile is your best feature. But if you're super bony, I mean, you know, whatever. Um... Classy is classy, right? But there's a time and a place to be classy. If you are attracting a man, if you are attracting a man, if you are attracting a man, which most of these, uh, most of the women here would like to attract a man of means. And that's fine. You know, uh, bohemian chic is not going to get that. It's never going to get that. He can't, nobody wants to be seen with you wearing that, but your nieces and nephews, niece. You know, you want to be, crop tops are out, you're not doing all that. You're not, you're not, you don't, like I said, there's an in the middle. You don't need to show all your, your stomach and all that to be sexy. You don't. Um, right. White men love bony girls. Good for them, you know. 
So we shouldn't get too dressed up on the first date. No, no, you don't need to wear an evening gown. Come on, you don't need to wear an evening gown. He should be trying to impress you. You need to dress according to where you're going. If you're going to a five-star restaurant, then yes, you need to wear a nice dress. You need to wear a nice dress. But you don't need to go somewhere looking like a hippie. You don't need to go somewhere like, you know, you just rolled out of the bed. Come on. You Okay, Do here's another thing. A lot of the bigger girls are out here looking like... Um, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose my words. I'm gonna choose my words. A lot of the bigger girls, a lot of the more full-figured women, are out here looking like Medea. Exactly. You looking like the help. You looking like you about to, you know, go clean somebody's house. For real. What? What the hell? Just because you are big does not mean you need to wear a curtain. You can wear something that's figure fitting and hugging. You all you need to do is get you some shapewear. If you need a uh, two or three different pairs of shapewear, go get you two or three of them. I did it when I was bigger. I used to go out with three uh, shapewear things on, plus some duct tape sucking all that stuff in, baby. Yes, ma'am. But please know they was doing like this. They was doing like this. Y'all need to get some shapewear. Stop wearing that stuff that's so big and, and, you know, huge and all of that. We Okay, everybody know you big. Everybody know you big. They seen you before you even got there, baby. But your confidence needs to come in before you. If you got some shapewear on, I don't care if you got to go in there and sit like this. I don't care if you got to go in and you can't breathe and you got to be like, girl, you better put that shapewear on and, and, and get to getting it. You need to wear stuff that's form-fitting. You need to wear stuff that's hugging it and touching you. If you spin around in your dress and it flares out, that might not be a good look for you if you already big. If you already big, don't do that. Don't do that. You need to try to, you, you know, wear stuff that's kind of, I don't care about no sexy sleepwear. Who gives a darn about some sleepwear? You ain't finna see me going to sleep no way. You can wear what you want when you go to sleep. We talking about on the dates. Short women, you know, if you short and you big, still, you need to get some shapewear. If you short, you definitely need to learn how to walk on some heels because that's going to make you look taller. I mean, so let, let's work on that. You don't want to look like the help. You don't want to look like you finna come uh, clean the baseboards or, or like you the babysitter coming to babysit the children or something. No. You want to be, um, you want to be exactly... Exactly. You can always tell when a bigger woman is confident because she comes in the room and she's like, you know, I'm here. What, what, what's going on? What are we doing? You know, that's how you need to come in, into a room. Always get, uh, what if you don't have a shape? If you don't have a shape, ain't nothing I can do to help you, baby. You better get some butt pads, stuff your bra, make a shape. You can make a shape. If you ain't got a shape, you better make one. I mean, come on, you know. No muffin tops, no muffin tops, no, none of that back fat rolling up and stuff. None of that, none of that. You need to get all that corrected. And it's easy to do. You might can't afford no shapewear, but I bet you can afford some duct tape. All you gotta do is put, put some uh, Vaseline on you, on your stomach before you put the uh, duct tape on. Go get one of them children to hold one end of it, spin your butt around and get taped up. Hello? I did it. I did it. I mean, come on now. It ain't even about the whole waist. It's about all this back here. You know, you got all this showing and then the dress is so big and huge we can't even tell what you look like. That's not cute. It's not. All of y'all wearing these damn wedges on these dates. Ugh. Stop wearing the wedges. Let's try to get some heels. If you can't wear heels, walk in them. Uh, what happens when they take it all off? They not taking it off. Miss, who is this? Tell me some take it off. No, ma'am. Shonda, he not going to take it off. He, you ain't got to worry about what happened when he take it off because he ain't going to see it. That's how you get the money. Hello? The clothes aren't coming off. Leah. Anyway, y'all need to uh, fix that. Fix that. Stop, stop. Okay, even if you, you know, you was a little promiscuous back in the day. You know, you're Asian. 
and you wear Indian dresses. I don't know nothing about that, baby. I'm sorry, Miss Samina. I can't tell you nothing about that. I know about being Indian as in uh, Western Indian, but I don't know nothing about East Indian culture. Sorry. I know you love wedges. I know you do. Everybody love wedges, especially a big girl. Who cares? The men don't like the wedges, so stop doing it. I don't care about what y'all like. Y'all so y'all killed me with the, uh, well, I don't like that. Well, I think it's sexy. Well, this is my style. Good, good, good. Let it be your style. Don't nobody care about your style. Come on. It's not about your style. Do you want some money or is you, are you, do you got to clock in tomorrow at eight o'clock? Come on. It, it, there's, there's one pair of heels that you can wear. Let me tell y'all, let me put something in your life. Let me put something in your life. Payless has the wide, the, the, the uh, option to have a wide shoe. So if you are a bigger girl, let's say you wear eight wide. Go to Payless and get you some heels. They got, they got good heels. They got good heels at Payless. Go get you some of those and practice in them, you know. Um, Y'all really need to uh, think about what men like as opposed to what you like. That's the whole goal. That's the whole goal, you know? Um, and that's it. That's the point of this video. Um, Y'all need to be proactively working on your look. Stop wearing these old mammy made dresses. Stop looking like a mammy. And let me, Lord, yes. Let me, since I said mammy, let me, let me just brought it back to my attention. If you are wearing uh, all of that stuff on your head, like that, uh, what, what is, I mean, not the dashikis, but what's the stuff? I don't know. I don't know what you call it because, Lord, it's horrible. It's horrible. Head wraps, whatever you call them. The, you know, you want to be African and you want to be so prideful and you into your culture and all of that. I get it. I get it, you know, you love it. You love it, that's you, you wanna show your, your African eccentricness. Turbans, a turban, yes, a turban. If you are wearing um, a turban, a bonnet, or anything like that, stop it, stop it. Please stop it. Oh my goodness, okay, so Shira's on here. Okay, everybody go crazy, cause now she on here, come on. Everybody say hey, come on. All eight. Come on, say hey. Oh, y'all good? Okay, so anyway, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, hey girl, hey. Anyway. So she don't never even be on here. Um, she don't never even be on here for the full video anyway. Why y'all want to say hey, hey, hey? She finna, get, she finna, uh, <laughs> she finna get off this video in a few minutes. She come and say hey and be gone, honey. But anyway, so the turbans. Let's get back to that. If you um are not that that's not attractive at all. I don't care who wears it. If you are in that country where they wear the turbans. Um, I, I don't, you know, go over there with that. If you in America, that's not attractive. Most men and most people are going to be laughing at you. That stuff is not cute. I understand like in, like some of the people from the, like DC and up in the Northeast, you know, they always, you know, they're, all that stuff is attractive. The women wear dreads and all of that stuff, but that's not going to get you no man. Natural hair I mean, natural hair might get it if you got long natural hair. If your hair is not long and natural, then no. You know, hotep queens. Come through, Empress. Empress divine. Yes, a hotep queen. You can't wear no head wrap anywhere with a wealthy man. He going to be like, where are you going? Can you take that off? Is there something else we can do with your hair? He's going to be embarrassed to go anywhere with you. I would be embarrassed to go anywhere with you with that stuff on your head. Stop doing that. That's not cute. All them dashikis and all that stuff, you know, okay, you can wear that to the Black Panther release. Good. 
that's where that's where you get it you know i mean bye dorian you can you sure can leave see ya we trying to get to the money <clears throat> anyway um yeah you wear that to the release of the of the little movie you wear that stuff to say you're going to a coming to america party or you're going to something that requires you to be african you know, if, if something requires me to be African, I'm going as Cleopatra so, so I could still be girly. I'm not never wearing no dang on dashiki and all that crap. That stuff is not, no. I understand, you know, people want to be, oh, I'm, at, you know, touch, being in touch with my roots, you know, you know whatever. I, I, I'm African American, but I'm not African. You know, that's not me. I'm probably never going to go to Africa. So while I'm here, I'm going to be American. I like being American. You know, it's okay that, anyway, I'm not trying to down anybody's culture because I am um, African-American myself, but I just want you guys to recognize that um, wearing stuff like that may not be attractive. So guess what, guys? We are going to a birthday party. Come here. And this is my little man my little twin my little twin we're getting ready to go to a birthday party so let's ask let's ask a man come here so do you like women who have long hair or short hair like you i put you on the spot <laughs> okay go get your water i'm almost done okay so he was trying to be a little shy, <laughs> but he knows he will tell you in a minute. He will tell you in a minute. No. Ugh. So anyway, um, so yes, that is the, um, thank you guys. That's my little love, my little chocolate. Anyway, that is the, uh, the message of this video. Stop looking like his mama. Stop treating him like he's your son. Stop uh, dressing and looking um, like a woman who should have, you know, a line of children behind her. You want to be attractive. You want to be, um, you know. <laughs> I like a person with long hair. Oh, you, you like a lady with longer hair? Yes. Okay, like this? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your input. <laughs> so... So he said he would like a lady with long hair. That's what he's saying. <laughs> so um, keep that in mind, ladies. Stop being his, his uh, mother. Stop catering to his every woman wish. Never give a man money. Never assist him in anything. Don't help him change the oil in the car. If y'all are out and he, oh, I ain't got no cash. Do you have cash? Say no. Say no. Um, Let's try to be feminine. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, yes, that's my boo. Try your best at every turn to be feminine. Bigger girls wear form-fitting stuff. Stop wearing all that big baggy stuff. We, we're talking about the uh, bohemian look, Letitia, if she's still here. We were talking about that look. And I said, you can't wear that when you're on a date. When you have already arrived, when you have already arrived at where you want to be when your bag is already secure then you can wear whatever you want until then you do not yeah me too me too we need to go shopping again because we both um uh, see even letitia said it maybe now y'all will believe it since she said it she wears that sort of thing when she's with her kids because she wants to look motherly and i'm gonna tell y'all y'all have seen her when uh we go out she doesn't dress that way when we go out there's a time and a place for everything i dress like this when i'm with my boys because i want to look motherly and fit in with all the people in the you know whatever when they're not with me it's a whole nother story so i gotta go y'all we've got a birthday party um we're about to go party hardy like it's 1999 um see you guys later it's been great i hope this was helpful um you guys have a good day